Good morning, everybody. I've been feeling like absolute shit the last few days. You can see how much I've broken out on my face. My body right now just doesn't like me. I need to put this here. I can't even hold it. I'm weak. I um I wanted to show you guys my my lowest, 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 sorest, sickest point so that we can get better together. Overall health-wise, I'm not good and I'm really, really gonna get it back, in, back on track and I'm really excited about it. I haven't been to the gym in months, so that hasn't helped. I look so pale in this because I've got the reflection of this on me. I swear I'm actually not that pale. I'm obsessed with my new furniture. <laughs> so I just made myself some green pancakes, like a big stack of them. There's literally like <laughs> six in there. I've just done banana and honey. And the reason they're green is because I've put some of my green powders and vitamin powders and everything. And I've just got to take all my supplements and my antibiotics and everything. And I always fill up my large water bottle and try to finish one of these in the morning as well, just so that I know that I'm staying hydrated. I just went and got my eyebrows tinted, so they're looking darker. I literally just did a shot of oil of oregano. Oh my god. It hasn't come off yet. It's so close to coming off, but I feel like I need some coverage on this bloody face. <laughs> um, I realized I didn't make much sense, <laughs> so I've come here to continue our conversation. I'm gonna do sort of like a- if you guys watch Sarah's Day, she does like these project comebacks and I just think that they're really cool to watch. I want to do one of my own. Taking a bit of inspiration from Sarah, if you also like those types of videos, you need to watch Steph Bailey's The Lazy Gal Diaries as well. I really have been loving her series on that. This plane. But yeah, so you guys definitely should watch Sarah and Steph's, like Steph's um, The Lazy Gal Diaries are freaking awesome. It's such a clever idea. I've never been one to care really about my weight and what I look like because I personally, I don't know whether I've told you guys this, but I personally love curves on women. I think it's so beautiful, but like I would really like to get a little bit more tone back in my body and just um, feel good again, feel fit again because like even my skin is breaking out, I'm sick, like my body is hating on me right now. This is swollen, my, every part of me is just swirled up. It's kind of fun for me because it means now that I can bring you guys along on this little journey. I need to just be happy that I've got four healthy limbs, that I can walk on two strong legs, and I've got to love my butt, just jiggly old butt, use it to dance. <laughs> I've just got to be grateful for what I've got and stop being hard on myself. But in saying that, I also need to start being a little bit healthier because I'm living an extremely unhealthy lifestyle right now. It's like a competition for how much food and Uber Eats I can order just to screw with myself. So yeah, I'm really keen to get back on this health grind, start um, watching my skin get better, get more energy in my life, change um, the dynamic of my lifestyle. Yeah, so I'm really keen about that. Big old box of Too Faced. It's such a pretty Sunday, like it's such a beautiful day, so I'm just gonna play with some makeup. So I've just had a shower and washed my hair, done like a face mask and moisturized my body. Oh, hello baby, oh my gosh, she scared me, she just jumped in front of me. I had my hair cut as well, by the way. Also, when I got my eyebrow waxed, look at it. <laughs> That's not good. So as you can see, I haven't unboxed my package yet, so I thought I could do that on camera with you guys. And then we could just play with some of the new products. Let's do this. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, I'm so happy to be... Is that better closed or open? It's... Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, what? So these are all the foundations and the blush and bronzers. Okay, so I thought I would just line them all up here for you guys to just have a quick look at the shades. So I've just put it in literally no particular order. Particular order. I probably should have color coded it. And obviously, because I'm not going to be using all the blush shades, I thought I would show you a quick overview of these as well. That was actually kind of interesting. I might try that orange one, actually. Okay, so I've moved you guys across a little bit. I'm just going to try out like a whole bunch of their products. I'm going to go for a really peachy pink look. Because when you're feeling sick, you just want something to just like liven up your skin and make yourself feel just a little bit better. So stay tuned to the end as well, because Too Faced was kind enough to let me give you guys a giveaway, which was so nice. Obviously, the whole range so you guys can win this whole range this whole range of new peach products just stay tuned for that um so i was having a read about um these products just because i find them really interesting and brands are always bringing out really new cool things that um 
a mind blowing to be honest. Like I don't know who comes up with the stuff. I could definitely couldn't. The thing about this range is that it's like a comfort matte range. This the, this stuff that they've created is a cream to matte formula, which I think is really interesting like a bronzer um, and it goes matte. So on all the packet it says that all of it is infused with peach and sweet fig cream. They've taken inspiration from the peach and like it's all sort of very peachy tones and beautiful and natural and pink and the packaging is stunning. So, so they send me all the stuff from this range um, obviously to try on camera for you guys but I'm actually going to start off with the Too Faced hangover primer because I've actually been using this every day before I've been doing my makeup. As you know my skin's not that great right now. I'm trying to use products that I know aren't gonna clog my skin up and this hangover primer has like coconut water probiotic based ingredient and skin revivers in it. So I'm using primers that are really gonna screw with my skin. I've just been trying to put natural things on my skin and I have always loved that primer. I used to use it so often. Alright, I'm so bloody keen to try this. It's oil free, 14 hour wear, oil controlling, photo friendly and it's a comfort matte foundation. Kind of went through them all briefly. Warm sand seemed to be my shade but I could be completely wrong because I kind of just swatched it on the back of my hand. Hopefully this will cover up my pimps. How do we think that that looks? I think that's good. Might be a bit dark. Yeah, that might be a little dark. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this in. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go and get another shade. Okay, I'm gonna try out Warm Beige instead. I thought not as um, warm toned. I'll swatch it so you guys can see. So it's a little lighter, not as sort of warm toned as the other one. And it feels really creamy. Okay, let's try this out. So after Europe, my body's still pretty tanned, but then my face is really white because obviously I just like, wasn't tanning my face. I don't know about you guys, but my neck doesn't tan as well. So like the rest of my body is tanned and then it goes like white there. So I've been having to fake tan my neck. I'm really just got a makeup brush and just like fake tan my neck. It's so strange. So it's definitely matte, 100% matte. That looks beautiful on my skin and I'm not liking my skin right now. Here's a close up. Can you guys see what I mean by it's matte, but it's not like, it doesn't look drying? Ready, 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 The concealer that I've actually been using before Too Faced even contacted me to work together is this, they sent me the newborn this way giant <laughs> concealer. That's a concealer. But I have been using this every day actually, and it's really good. I really like it and I especially like it because I really love this tone. This one is in the shade Natural Beige so it's been like a really good tone for me. Ooh, that light's going to change. That sun just went away. <laughs> now for the fun part, I really want to try these um, melting powder bronzers. So it's literally supposed to be like a powder but it's melted. Stipple it into the um, face and then I'll probably beauty blender it. Maybe I do just beauty blender it actually. I think this brush is not. Okay, let's try. It's definitely really nice and subtle. I think it's got a light shimmer to it. Just going straight in with the beauty blender now. I'm just picking it up on the beauty blender and putting it on my face. Wow, that's really nice. That looks really beautiful. So it's really. It's like really subtle, but it's not. I'm so confused. This looks beautiful. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Wow, oh my. That's exactly the color that I wanted. Oh my God, that's my new favorite cream blush. I'm obsessed with that. I like that one a lot. Is it a matte highlighter? Melting powder highlighter. It's called Happy Face. Very good base anyway, but does it mean it's like, oh yeah, it's really pretty. It's definitely subtle though. Like it doesn't really do all that much. Like it's not a really glittery, sparkly one. It's like super, super subtle. I'm gonna add more. Like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ham. This is my favorite product so far. When this becomes available, you guys will be able to find it in Mecha Maxima. Sorry about the changing light. This one is going behind the clouds. In this range, we have the Peach Perfect 
mattifying loose setting powder infused with peach and sweet fig because it's all infused with peach and sweet fig. I love trying out new translucent powders, especially to bake with because you guys know I love to bake. Brownies and cookies and cake. No, I don't bake ever. I like to eat those things, but I never bake them. I just bake my face. It's like pinky. Oh my gosh, how is this going to look? I think, if anything, it would be like really good to go under the under eyes with a pink tone because it's like a peach and it'll cancel out any other blue tones that might be there. And just around this area, I'm feeling my pores. I like to just take it and set my eyelids. So you definitely can't tell that it's pink. Interesting. But instead of setting the rest of my face with that, they have this interesting looking product and this is the Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder. Um, and that's pink too. Sheen to it, so I'm sure maybe it would add like a bit of a sheen to your face. These products definitely, they definitely do dry matte. Like, look how matte my skin is. Wow, that is pretty. Yeah, it's definitely all dried down to a matte finish already. It just looks like youthful almost. So moving on we've got this Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer and as you can see it's like tonal so it's got pink and bronze and gold. I'm going to swirl my brush around in it and just see what happens. I think that's definitely blushy. That comes off on me definitely. It could be a warm tone bronzer but I think that that's definitely more of a blush on me. I would just keep that on your cheekbones because you can get away with that as like a bronzer but like a blush as well so I would just put it like right there on the apples of your cheeks and like maybe down your nose for that really flushed look but you can see because it's got the pink in it like it definitely the pink shows up it's like a brownie it's like a brownie brownie pink brownie pink so I would just make it like a flush of like sun-kissed color or like across the cheeks like that. Now for the palettes, which the palettes look beautiful. So we've got the Just Peachy Mattes. How pretty is the packaging? Feels very luxe. Far out. This is stunning. I'm definitely, definitely using that. So that's beautiful. So it's got the warm tones. They've definitely got the shimmers in it. Um, which is still a beautiful array of colors. Wow, yeah, it's got some really unique colours in there. Alright, let's go in for the eyes. Let's absolutely attack this peach colour. I'm keen as mean. Just peachy, just here. This one in the socket. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. It's so pretty. So I, I just thought that, that usually colours like that wouldn't show up on my skin tone. Yeah, usually colours like that definitely don't show up on my skin tone. So these are very pigmented. Sorry, I'm not like crazy energetic as well, guys. I'm so sick. <laughs> I'm going to go into with Peach Punch. Spice things up in here. Oh, that's so pretty. Really pretty. Everything is going to look shit with my eyebrow wax like that. <laughs> I want to take the same colour and really like smoke out the bottom lash line with that pink too. So I'm going to go Peach Punch, the really vibrant one. And put it under here. That's cool. That definitely makes blue eyes pop, honey. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, no. I'm going to go in with the other palette and this shade here, which is a duo chrome, which you can see on my hand here. I just swatched it. It's like a goldy peach. So as you move, it looks gold and pink. Oh my god, yes. I'm gonna spray it as well. I'm just gonna see what it looks like without spraying it. Oh my god, don't get them. That is so pigmented. Wow. Oh man. I like it like that. Though. Yes, go away light. Show them what it's really all about. Bring it up into my crease. I don't know what I'm doing. Get on up there. Yeah. I'm gonna take this one up here, which seems a little shimmery. It's kind of more of a matte. I'm gonna put that in my inner tear ducts. Oh, that seems kind of duochrome too. That's definitely duochrome. That's got like a pinky undertone to it too. Or a peachy, I suppose. So I'm taking the mattifying setting spray. Oh, my knees! Oh, dramatic. So I'm gonna take the peach mist, which is the mattifying setting spray, and it says shake me. And I'm just gonna 
spritz my brush. And I'm going to go back into this glistening peach. And I'm going to put that under my lash line in like a halo. See? Wow, that's sick. I'm going to wear that on my lid like every single day. Should I leave it like that or should I darken it up? We wanted to go really peachy, so maybe I just leave it. Let's take a step onto the wild side for a second here. I'm going to pick up my highlighting brush and I'm going to go into glistening peach and put it on my cheekbones. So this one here. That colour is spectacular. I'm putting it on all over my face. Like the pink hardly shows. It's like more the gold that shows. Right, now I'm going to finish off the look darling. I'm using the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. Oh my god. That smells so good. That mist as well. Wow. Good mist. Alrighty. Oh my god, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Are you guys feeling it too? <laughs> or is it just me? Alright, so I've just got the giveaway rules up here now for you guys. You must be 18 years or older to enter. You must follow Too Faced and myself, which is pretty standard for giveaways, and tag two friends down in the comments below. So there are going to be two winners that will receive the whole collection, except for the foundation, just because it's too hard for them to be able to match you guys up with your foundation. It's a 48 hour giveaway, so they'll pretty much decide straight away, and the giveaway is open internationally. I'm so glad a few of my followers get a little prezzy from this video, that's exciting. Thank you so much to Too Faced for partnering up with me. I feel really honoured that you wanted me to be one of the first in Australia to try out your collection. <laughs> As I always say and my followers know, like, I love makeup to the ends of the earth, but I don't feel like I'm the best at it. So it's really fun when a makeup brand approaches me and wants to work with me because I feel really flattered <laughs> that they trust me to um, create a video for them. I'll leave all the products that I use down below in the description box, but if you guys are wanting to get your hands on it in Australia, obviously it's going to be available at Mecca. But obviously if you guys want to get your hands on it, it's going to be available in Mecca Maxima in Australia soon. So I've got family dinner tonight, which will be nice because I haven't seen my parents. They stayed in Europe for a few weeks, so I'm going to go over and see them. And um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for my getting better, getting on track, getting committed and fit videos coming up. Thank you for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.